your hair. Yes, it's my house. Now it's my turn. Oh, you're here. With good reason. Uh, Kendra and I are dropping your little ones off at sleepovers. Uh, the least I can do for allowing me to live in your garage and marry your daughter, all of it. Um, <laughs> and just know, I respect your boundaries, so please pretend I'm invisible. I like that. <laughs> but it's hard to pretend you're invisible when I can still see you, so... Oh, just back a little oh. bit. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> still got a little peripheral on you, right there. Yup, back, back. There you go. Dad? Yeah. Oh, Dad. Okay, I cannot study up there. This is ridiculous. I shouldn't have to share a room with my baby sister. It's torture. Oh, come on. It's not that bad, Oh, all right? it is. She's biting her fingernails and spitting them into a Gatorade bottle. Okay. My Gatorade bottle. All right, at least she's grooming, all right? It's a step in the right direction. Oh, come on, Dad. Why can't I just live in the garage with Chael? I mean, we're engaged. Yeah, exactly. You're not married yet. If ever. My house, my rules. Fine, but we are going to revisit this. Absolutely, right after the wedding. <laughs> and even then, probably not. Dad, love you. Oh, have fun tonight, okay? I took $10 out of your wallet, but I told you, so it's not stealing. I only took five because you... You raised me right. <laughs> Boom! Go. All right. Nice. Okay. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh. Oh. deep in your bread bowl again, didn't you? I did, yeah. The store was a madhouse. Oh, what? A slab of brie? Yeah. Hey, honey, you know my rolling cheeses. Yes. If it's not individually wrapped, forget that crap. Yes. <laughs> but don't worry, because it's not for you. I have my book club coming over tonight. It's gonna be fun. Wait a second, I got the guys tonight. No, go to Mott's house. He's got a big place. Yeah, he's also got seven kids, and the twins are usually in a naked slap fight. <laughs> Well, I'm not canceling. It's my first time hosting, and I'm excited. Excited? Yeah. Oh, let me see. Baseball, book club. Ooh. <laughs> My mother's foot veins are flaring up again. Tell your mother, plop her feet in a bucket of hot water for 10 minutes, then ice them, then back to heat. I heard it was ice, heat, ice. Heat, ice. Guys, 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 hey, do me a favor. Slow down on this conversation, because I want to catch all the... Di What's going on in there? Uh, Donna's got a book club. I don't know what they're doing, but it sounds pretty wild. <laughs> you know what? It's pretty wild in here, too, okay, guys? I'm gonna get some more chips. Let's focus on the game, all right? Mets are only down by nine. Seriously. Let's fix the mojo in here. Switch seats, stand up, move around. Come on. Oh, no, I got this. Jump, I got this. Jump, 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 jump. Uh, no, are we, uh, are we too loud out there? No, to be honest, I didn't even know you were still in there. <laughs> Have there been people in that room the whole night? Oh. Yeah, it's off the chain. <laughs> yeah. We moved, the Phillies scored, we moved back. Come on, guys. Marty, shotgun. Yeah, get on. Look, what the hell? Chug it, man! I don't want to chug it, you chipped it! I didn't chip it, chug it! Oh, you chipped it, guys! Get him a towel! Oh, fine. <laughs> hey, everything okay? Oh, yeah, you know what? It's, it's just great. I'm not puked. We just hit another level out here. <laughs> What 
What's up? Uh, nothing. There's just something that happened at the book club. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, we had something too. Uh, Duffy was riffing about his mom's foot veins. It was hilarious. <laughs> you, you guys had ribs? Yeah, our book had a southern theme, so everyone brought something. Gina brought Kentucky bourbon, and Danielle brought biscuits, and Laura, some pretty racy stories from the Bahamas. <laughs> Is there any book reading? Or? Well, yeah, we start with the book, but, you know, the drinks flow, and then before you know it, we're trying to sign Gina up for whipped cream wrestling at a bar in Ronkonkoma. <laughs> Which we all agreed would be very irresponsible. So this this happens every week? Well, yeah, ever since we got rid of this one girl, Tammy, it's dead weight. All she would ever do is talk about her cat. It's like we get it, you know? You didn't rescue her, she rescued you, total downer. Anyway, <laughs> cut her loose. You just kicked her out of the group? Yeah, well, I mean, I didn't, but Danielle did, but yeah, if they're not bringing it, then they got to go. <laughs> How about a couple more slices, huh? Mom, know you're eating this? Okay, you know, do me a favor. Listen up, all right? This is where I hang out, my safe place, all right? Now, when I got you the job here, I laid down a few rules and regs. You remember? I do. Always top off your drink. Mm -hmm. If you ask for regular cheese, that means double right. cheese. Double cheese means triple. <laughs> and if mom asks, you ate something with carrots. Yeah. And most important? If there's a pizza made by mistake, you guys get first crack at it. <laughs> All right, boys, you're probably wondering why I summoned you here today. Uh, not really, we're here every day. <laughs> True, but today's different because I summoned you. Well, you texted us. It's a summons, guy, it's a summons. Look, it doesn't matter. Anyway, last night was a real eye-opener to me, all right? It really brings up the question, is this as good as it gets? I guess if it had mushrooms and they burnt the crust a little. <laughs> Not the pizza, I mean this, life. I mean, come on. When we were on the force and we talk about our dream retirement, is this what we pictured? Kind of. I mean, every day can't be the 4th of July. This is like July 5th. <laughs> hey, my aunt's birthday. Okay, hey, hey, hey. Good man, focus, okay? Look, last night, Six ladies in a book club completely lapped us. A book club. I'm gonna let that sink in for a second. You want us to start a book club? No. What I want you to do is I want you to ask yourself a question. What do I bring to the table? Seriously, Mutt, tell me why you're an asset. Why do I want to be in the Mutt business? Well, I'm honest. Mm -hmm. I live close by. There you go. Oh, I think my minivan's a plus. Hold up, you're evaluating us? Think about it, how do baseball teams get better? They evaluate performance. This is just an informal yet permanent record of who is contributing what. Yeah, why don't we evaluate you? Evaluate me? Yeah. Yeah, you know what, I already did. Insane leadership skills, laser focused, but with a playful side. The only negative, I care too much, I care too much. You know what, you forgot something. Bully, you're a bully, I'm out of here. Yeah, me too. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mark, let's go, you drove! <laughs> I'm right behind you, don't turn around, I'm just gonna use the microwave. The channel. I am still invisible, still invisible. Okay, okay. you can use the microwave, and, and by the way, you wanna sit down and watch the game? You know, there's no reason we shouldn't get to know each other, really. My heart wants to believe you, but... <laughs> my brain screams that this is a trap. Sure, it's not a trap. Come on, bud. Here. Oh. <laughs> oh. You almost got me, but not today. <laughs> See, that's where the book loses me, because why would a woman that educated stay with a guy that's stupid and self-centered? <laughs> Don't answer that, I'm in the room. <laughs> I, uh, I made too much of my special onion dip, so uh, you ladies have at it. I'm gonna head up, honey. Yeah. Thank you. Wow, this is insane. What's in this? Well, it's just, you know, it's 
special herbs, uh, sour cream, and another secret ingredient I'm really not at liberty to tell you, but I'm gonna slip an onion soup. That's what <laughs> it's, yeah. it's the best. <laughs> okay, good night, honey. Yeah, good night, okay. Wait, Kevin, yeah. you're a guy. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> if you had to pick between a slutty servant woman or an educated governess, who would you choose to help you on a cattle drive? Ah, that age-old question. <laughs> First, I would ask, how long is the cattle drive? And second, what's a guy got to do to get a glass of Merlot around here, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> ooh, ooh, pretty bouquet. I like it. <laughs> what's so funny? I was just thinking about stuff, man. When she was ragging on her husband for wearing the skinny jeans, I, I was literally crying. I was crying. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. You know, we've never really had a husband join us and then stay until the very, very end. Anyway, thanks for letting me hang out. No problem. Next week, I promise, I'm gonna, I'm gonna blend in. Next week. Uh, honey, is there something going on with the guys that I don't know about? The guys? Yeah. You mean the weak links weighing me down? Hmm. They had to go. Oh, no, Nancy, you're the best. Smiley face, smiley face with glasses, dynamite. <laughs>
You know, and I know that something happened with your friends, but you gotta work that out because book club is my time. Oh, I see it. Okay. You're jealous because I'm fitting in too well. Um, I'm stealing your thunder. All right, I got it. Oh, no, I, yeah. I'm not the only one that feels this way. So you're saying your friends want me out of the group? Yeah. Wow. Wow, this is sad. This is so, so sad. Sad. Allow me to show you a text, would you? Okay. Okay? Yeah. Here we go. Ready? Okay. Me. See you Tuesday night, Lisa. Her response. Mm -hmm. Sounds good, Kev. Sounds good. Good, Kev. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, this is from Nancy. If we have book club at my house, do you think Kevin will show up? Okay, see, it's all how you're reading it, because I see it as, do you think Kevin will show up? Uh-huh. All right, well, this one, it's not even a text. It's just a picture of you with the word out underneath. She took my head and put it on the body of a manatee. I'm sorry, honey. Wow. Oh, I guess that's it. Yeah. So you think I should finish out the night, or...? Uh, no. <laughs> Ladies, it's been brought to my attention that I may not be your cup of tea. <laughs> Some of you consider me even a little pushy with the body of a manatee. So I guess this is goodbye. Annie, I told you things I've never told another human being. <laughs> Cake balls are in the freezer, and the Merlot should probably breathe for a few minutes before serving, but what do I know? <laughs> no one's gonna stop you, hon. All we do is play cornhole. Aren't you guys about cornhole now? About stickball. Stickball? What are we, 12-year-olds in the Great Depression? <laughs> Stop looking at them. Dad, just go talk to them. Talk to who? The three old dudes playing with beanbags pretending not to notice you for the last two hours. Nah, they need to apologize to me, all right? All I was doing was trying to make our lives better. Yeah, that worked. <laughs> he just looked at us. Well, let's just talk to him. No, no, no. If we bleak first, he wins. All right, somebody ordered large pepperoni and never picked it up, and according to your rule, you guys get first crack at it. I'm grabbing a slice. Stay strong. This is stupid, all right? We can call a truce, at least until we finish the pizza. All right, you can have that one. I know how much you like the burnt crust. Do you remember that about me? Or was it in my file? It's in here, and it's in here. move, kid. Thanks, Enzo. You know, I, I gotta make you pay for that large pepperoni, right? Yeah, I know. I mean, now I'm counting out the draw. <laughs>
I was thinking about your offer to watch TV with you the other day, and uh, you're right. <laughs> There's really no reason that we can't get to know each other. Yeah, I work things out with my buddies. You're out. Oh, fair enough. <laughs>